Okay, my name is Brian Malik. How are you? And this drum set is completely made out of Legos as, as it regards to the shell. I use conventional rims, lugs, lug screws, because I wanted them to be a fully functioning drum kit. And so when the camera is zooming in, you can see that I use a 1x3 brick, a 1x1 one one cylinder, and that combination made it possible for me to make an arc. And then what I did on either end is I used, on the batter side, I used uh, the slopes, the one by one slopes, and that made it possible for me to have less mass. So for the drum to function correctly, I needed to have a bearing edge. And so by using those slopes, I was able to create the bearing edge. And on the opposite side, because the studs are only one side of the brick, I had to use a one by one round plate or I guess just some people regard to them as just a one stud type of uh, device. And so by doing that, I created bearing edges on both sides, and that means that the drum head can actually set up against, nice and snug, against the brick, no air pockets, so therefore I can get a resonant quality from the head, and therefore I can tune the drum. Okay. So what you're looking at when you look at these drums, the snare drum, has a very, very clear idea of a single tension method. And that means that if I put pressure on one side, it, it's actually evenly pulling the, the drum heads together. On the other drums, you see that these long pieces, those are called lugs, and they actually can be fixed to the shell. In this case, this because this is my prototype kit, if you will. I mean, they function perfectly. The snare drum alone, I've probably done about a thousand performances and Probably about 20 record dates with that wow. snare drum. Yeah. And the, and the drums themselves, I've done a few performances with. But the snare drum I use all the time because as a drum set player and also as a hand drummer, I mean, this is what I do as a profession. So I combine lots of different instruments to create different, you know, whatever the, whatever the performance calls for, you know. So the, the snare drum was first. I built it actually here at this brick fair uh, three years ago. I went to uh, my son, who's a, an avid builder in the military area, Evan Melick. You interviewed him earlier, yeah, he told me. Um, he showed me how to make the combination that works so I can make the arc. And then when we went to Tyson's Corners, the, the clouds parted and the, the angels started. No, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> I was inspired. I, I found the pick-a-brick wall, and so I was able to, uh, to get the bricks that I needed. And then there... I said I have to get in, uh, bricks that I can use to function as, as a bearing edge, and there they were. So nonetheless, I was able to actually make the shell here, and then when I went back home to New York, we live upstate New York, just south of Albany, I was able to then put the rims on and the lug screws. And then with the snare drum especially, I, uh, I had to put a throw. Snare drums have a, a throw that lit literally lift the snares up. If you guys want, I can show you that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Away. But this is the throw, and the throw is the mechanism that brings the wires up to the bottom side of the drum that makes it, differentiates it from a, 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 a regular conventional tom tom or a bass drum to a snare drum. It's, it's these snares. So to do this, I had to actually, because you can't drill, you can't cut, right? Yeah. You can't glue. You can't alter the brick, right? It's like, you know, the zen of the brick, right? <laughs> this has all happened in a few years. You see what, I, see what happens? <laughs> so anyway, to make it so that I could actually mount these, as you guys see in with the camera, the nuts on the end of the bolts, I actually just eliminated a brick, you know, to make the void. Or I simply changed, I think, I think on this side, one of the 1x3s had to be swapped out for a 1x2 to create the void. But the idea is that, you know, it was a challenge. The challenge was first, absolutely honor the brick, play by the rules, right? But the other thing is that if I was going to do this, this is what I do as a profession, I want this to function. I don't want this just to sit on a, on a shelf, you know? So by having this, having the bearing edges, I can then fine tune it. So I can fine tune this. I get a nice vibration or a resonance. Everybody has their own method of tuning as far as what tonality they want.
So you can take the snares off, it becomes more like a tom-tom. I use it sort of kind of as a conga drum. And because it's so shallow, you can use it as a frame drum, you know? So you can actually hold it up. I'll play a little belly dancing rhythm for you. drum kit ladies and gentlemen you too can have your very own lego drum that's incredible i have a couple things that i really am very honored and proud of and i would really love to share them first of all in my in the drumming community there's a leading drum magazine called modern drummer and before i came down here i of course wanted to reach out to my community right and so i reached out to modern drummer and they have a a wonderful uh, article column feature called kid of the month and i'm very honored that they are going to be doing a spread on these drums in an upcoming you know uh, magazine I'm congratulations sure what month and then uh, just the other day while being here i just got notified there's a wonderful organization called percussive arts society and for any of you that are drummers that don't know about this you can find them uh, online at pas.org, incredible global organization that actually on another level changed my life just because it exposed me to the world that I'm a part of. But they have a, a wonderful museum, and they're, they've said that they would like to have these drums in their museum. So I'm very honored, uh, to say the least, you know. And so because I use these, I reached out to the executive director there, and he said that uh, they would be honored to have a set that I'm going to actually make for them. So that's what I'm doing when I go home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great. It's yeah. awesome to see you've got these on display. You can play them and everything. And it's so cool. And you've incorporated the Lego with it. I love how you did that. So I appreciate you telling us about those. Thank well, you. Thank you, Josh. It's been a pleasure. Thank